light, the stars are brightly shining. <laughs> it is the dawning of a I don't know what's going on in the heterosexual world. I feel so bad for anyone who decides to date a straight man. Um, cause niggas are so dumb. And the stories that we're going to go over today support my thesis. One, two, three, hey, ooh, say what's the, what's the, what? My neighbor is watching me next door. So T.I. is out here, I guess, just going to the OB with his daughter to make sure that she's still a virgin. He was on a podcast. I don't know what the podcast's called. I just know that there's, it's ran by two women, I believe, both who look like they use uh, Crest White Strips frequently. And he disclosed on the podcast that he takes his daughter to the OBGYN to make sure that her hymen is still intact and that she's still a virgin. This is wrong and weird and invasive and gross and just ashy on so many levels. The first thing that I thought of was the girl who's in high school, I believe she's a teenager right now. Now she got to go to school knowing everybody know that her daddy just goes to make sure that no one is tampered with her hymen. Y'all hymen could look like a pop balloon and it still doesn't mean that you've actually had sex like you can pop your you can break your hymen doing a slew of things now she could just be going along with it and knowing the true facts and what's actually true about her body um and just having and just and just appeasing her dad by just letting him come along or she could actually be learning from this dude which i hope is not the case i hope that her mom's stepping in or she just has the know-how on her own to know what's right and what's wrong and what she should be doing with her body as someone who was had a very overprotective uh parents who also sheltered me a lot and that was kind of their way of protecting me for things was hiding me from things uh it doesn't work still had so many bad weird embarrassing experiences when it comes to sex but you're supposed to you're supposed to kind of have these different experiences because that's what teaches you shit girl but um that's just me using my brain so whatever ja Rule, i really hope you're trolling with this next story ja Rule doesn't know what nigga means you don't know what nigga means you are one been one birth certificate it says ja that nigga rule. Uh, he tweeted that he thought that the word meant ignorance. Cause the thing that gets me, you guys, is that he said it in songs correctly. He used it in, within the correct context in songs. So that means even though you were saying nigga correctly, you were still using it incorrectly when you were already incorrect. Two men? What? How are you? I, 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 wow. Maybe that's why you were so cool with J-Lo saying it in all your songs back in the day. Cause you thought she was saying something else. I honestly have nothing else to contribute to the story other than just, wow. Wow. Oh, and this last story. Tell me how y'all feel about this because I know as the gay, in the gay community we stand anytime somebody comes out, anytime gives, anytime anyone gives us they them energy, we're just like we're here for it. We're so quick to stand for people just based off of some gay shit. But this one hit me sideways, gave me a little bit of pause, but let me know what y'all think. A woman by the name of Robin Crossford uh, is coming out with a book. She's coming out with a memoir, and she's talking a memoir, memoir, memoir. Memoir? Memoir? Mem... Memoir? Mem... Mem... Memoir. How the fuck do you say memoir? Memoir? Memoir. 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 She's coming out with a book about her and Whitney Houston's past love affair? What? It's called A Song For You, My Life With Whitney Houston, where Robin details her friendship with the late singer and shares details of their romance. They both met when they were teenagers uh, at a summer camp. They were both camp counselors, and then from there they became friends. 
And then I guess from there, you know, they became close. They uh enjoying that bean cuisine. And now, you know, Robin has come out saying that she is putting out this book and she's talking about their past relationship. This gives me so much pause because number one, why now? Not to my knowledge, she has not come out and said anything about um her sexuality as far as I'm concerned or being with women or wanting to be with women so number one I feel like that's kind of fucked up for Robin to come out with this whole book talking about this whole relationship that you know could is could potentially be outing Whitney if there was like some closet stuff going on there um it could have just been like a one and done kind of experimental thing I don't know we don't know we ne probably will never know because my girl is gone Whitney's gone Robin says that in the book Whitney requested that they stopped seeing each other, stopped being physical because um, she didn't want it to get in the way of her music career. Yet, people who knew them mutually said that they saw them like making out publicly, like being intimate in public before. So that doesn't make any sense. So yeah, I just think it's weird. I just think it's weird when people come out with books and talk about people that are dead, give out really revealing information or just personal information when that person, when the per when the person that is now deceased isn't even there to speak their side of the story, speak their story, period. And that is today's Say What Sunday. I gotta get up on that here. Thank you guys for watching. Leave comments and stuff and like the videos and subscribe and all those kinds of things. And I'll see y'all very soon. Bye, girl.